Hey everyone, it's Mallory here with All About Cats. And in this video, we're taking a look at three different cat DNA tests and figuring out which one offers the best results and whether or not cat DNA tests in general are even really worth it. So let's get on into it. There's still a lot that I don't know about Wessie, including his history. So when we adopted him at the shelter, we knew that evidently he was uh, stray rescue. So I always imagined his mom as kind of an inattentive but street smart calico, but that's just speculation. I really don't know where Wessie comes from or anything about his ancestry. And that's what cat DNA tests promise to help us out with. Cat DNA testing is relatively new though, and um, it's important to remember that we don't really have that much understanding of the feline genome. So what I found trying out all of these cat DNA tests is that the information you get is coming from uh, kind of an emerging pool of data. The other thing to remember is that cats are not like dogs. So dogs have been selectively bred for thousands of years, right? And so most of the dogs in our world today are crosses of specific breeds. Not so with cats. Cats have been naturally bred. Uh, they, they made their own choices for breeding, not bred by humans. And so 95% or an estimated 95% of cats are what would be called in the dog world super mutts. So just um, randomly bred cats. So it's all kind of tricky and it's hard to figure out exactly what these things mean. And often it's really hard to figure out if the results are accurate or not, unless you actually know that your cat is a purebred and you have some reference information to compare against. But I wanted to try three different tests with my cat Wessie to see if they were consistent, what was different, and which of these uh, test kits offers the best experience. So let's start off with the DNA test from the only cat specific DNA test company, which is Base Paws. So Base Paws was launched in 2016 and I've tried it out a number of times um, since pretty close to when it was founded. Um, so their database is constantly expanding. They're working on a lot of feline genetics research. They are researching the correlation between genetics and health conditions. They're looking into the feline oral microbiome, doing a lot of research, and their database is expanding. And so over the years, as I've checked my reports again and again and gotten multiple test results, I've seen um, their results change and presumably improve over time. So this is new and it is expanding and there's um, a lot to look forward to in the future if they keep going in this direction. Their standard DNA test kit package includes a breed and health report as well as a dental report. So they're mapping your cat's genetic similarity to 21 plus breed types. Uh, they're looking at at least 22 different uh, trait markers and you're getting reports on at least 64 health markers um, as well as the dental health report. So overall, a pretty well-rounded report. Um, the Base Plus DNA test kit currently costs $159, so it's the most expensive kit on this list. Um, but it regularly goes on sale. Right now, you can get two kits for $80 each, and I've seen um, the whole kit on sale for about $80 pretty frequently. So um, I would definitely keep my eye out for sales and coupon codes because uh, Base Boss is almost always running um, some sort of promotion. Base Boss makes it pretty easy compared to other um, test kits to collect a sample. So it comes with a soft cotton swab that you're going to put into the cat's uh, cheek pouch for about 10 seconds, swab it around, and then invert into the stabilizing liquid. Uh, put that into a little bag, remember to register your kit, and then send it off to the lab. Base Paws had the longest processing time of any of the DNA tests uh, that I took, uh, so it took seven weeks for the results to get back. The results came back in an enormous PDF document with three sections. So the first section is the breed analysis. Um, and interestingly, Wessie's results had changed since last time I looked at it. So you can see my complete review of Base Paws linked in the cards. Interestingly, um, it went from having some uh, genetic similarity to the ragdoll breed, having no similarity to it, um, which I thought was interesting. Um, but overall, he seems to have the most similarity with the Western breed group, which includes breeds like Maine Coon, Norwegian Forest Cat, Siberian, um, 
ragdoll. And then second to the Western breed group, they were saying that he was about 25% polycat, which is that kind of super mutt, super moggy um, that I was talking about. So they weren't able to identify genetic similarities to any breed or breed group um, on 25% of his genetic makeup. Um, in the health section, it said that he was clear of all of the health markers they looked at. And then in the traits section, they found that he is a carrier of the gene that would give a cat a black or solid coat, uh, which I thought was interesting. Also, because he lacked a number of markers that would have indicated kind of the opposite traits, it showed that he has a short, straight coat, a uh, long tail, and a normal number of toes, as well as no uh, resistance to FIV. Additionally, Basepaws found that Wessie's blood type is probably A based on his genetic background. Finally, the test also includes a dental health report, which is perhaps the most practically useful part of this report for most cats. And unfortunately, compared to last time I took this, um, it said that his risk of tooth resorption had gone up. So I'm not sure if it's a difference in the way that they're calculating this or something different in his health, um, but um, that was higher, and then also, as you can see, he's at a high risk, according to the microbes in his mouth, um, of having periodontal disease and bad breath, which um, I was aware of. So my next uh, DNA test that I tried was from Wisdom Panel. So Wisdom Panel um, has a bit more experience in the dog world. They're one of the top uh, dog DNA test companies. And uh, they recently launched a cat DNA test, though they do mention that they've been involved in feline genetics um, since 2016. So it seems that they should have roughly about as much experience as baseballs, even though they're not a cat exclusive brand and their cat DNA test is newer. It seems to me that Wisdom Panel has a little bit more experience with cat breeds than baseballs. They draw the results from 70 plus breeds rather than the 21 in the base pause report. And they claim to have the world's largest database of cat breed information. The test also includes information on 25 plus traits uh, and just 45 plus health markers. Currently, Wisdom Panel is running a sale so you can get one test kit for $97.49, so a little bit cheaper than Base Paws, and supposedly their normal price is $130, so normal price is also a little bit lower. Instead of a cotton swab, the Wisdom Panel test kit includes two kind of spoolie-like bristle brushes. I found that these bristle brushes were slightly harder to handle, um, maybe a little bit less comfortable for the cat, and then you need to let them dry out for a little while. Um, it adds a little bit of an extra step. Um, from my understanding, the type of collection brush matters less than how you collect a DNA sample, and I'm not exactly sure how these different collection processes affect your end results. Similarly to base pods, you're going to register your kit, and send it off to the lab. Now Wisdom Panel took a little bit less time to process my results, so I waited four weeks for those results to come back, so it had the quickest turnaround time of any of the tests I tried. And I found the results were a little bit more user-friendly than those from Basepaw, so there was a little bit less um, additional information included and it was a little bit more straight to the point. Instead of breaking Wessie's um, genetics up between polycat and western cat groups, it put these together as an American domestic cat, which is a part of that western breed group. But unlike the Basepaw's test, it detected some genetic similarity to the Siberian and Ragdoll breeds, which is confusing. Again, we don't really know how these companies are determining these areas of similarity, and it's really hard to know what this information means. They give us a little speculative family tree to try to clear things up, but I still found things pretty confusing. Uh, does Wessie have a grandparent who was a ragdoll mix? I don't know. All of this is so speculative and indefinite. Um, I, I can't help but feel more confused um, than anything else about this information. Now, what was consistent was the test for the health markers and pretty much the traits. Uh, Wisdom Panel found that he was clear of all of the 49 health markers for which they tested. Unlike the baseballs test though, they found that he had the color point gene, which I thought was interesting, and then also that solid or black indicator uh, mentioned in the baseballs report. So that seemed to be pretty consistent. 
They also said that Wessie had genetic indicators for short, straight fur, a long tail, so he didn't have any of the indicators for a short tail like a minx cat would have, and uh, he also didn't seem to have polydactyly, um, so he has a normal number of toes. Like the base pause test, Wisdom Panel says that Wessie's blood type is probably A um, based on the genetic information they've been given. So overall, I felt that the Wisdom Panel report was a little bit better presented and a little bit less confusing than the base pause report simply because it didn't contain so much extra breed information that's just kind of confusing. Um, and I also felt that the traits report was a little bit more usefully presented. However, it lacked that dental health report. So finally, I tried Oravet's test uh, for genetic health markers. Um, so Oravet's test is a little bit different from the base paws and wisdom panel test in that it's geared towards breeders and veterinarians, and it doesn't bother with any of that breed analysis. In fact, uh, they offer tests specifically made for those who know their cat's breed and just want to look at different health markers that are common in that breed. So if you're a breeder, you know that there are certain conditions common to your ragdoll cats, then you can go and just get a test for those things. At $119, uh, the test is moderately priced, but again, you're getting a little bit less information than from the others I've talked about here. Orovet has a similar collection method to Wisdom Panel with that little spoolie brush. Um, so you collect the saliva sample and then send it off to the lab. And Orovet took about five weeks to process the results. So it was a little bit difficult um, getting my results. Uh, so initially the results were not available in my account. So I contacted customer support and they sent me a PDF. And overall the navigation of the Oravet website is a little bit tricky. So I don't think their user experience is that great uh, when you're going through the results. And also the report does a little bit less hand-holding. It's a little bit harder to interpret um, and understand than the other reports. Again, it's geared more towards professionals. Um, but I found that the results were pretty much the same as what I was getting from everything else. Wessie doesn't have any genetic indicators of these health conditions they're screening for. It suggested that his blood type is either A or AB, which is in alignment with everything from base paws and wisdom panel. And it echoed wisdom panel in identifying that one color point gene. So overall, my experience with Oravet Health Screen was okay. Um, I still think their website could use some improvement. I've seen some customer reviews saying that they had problems getting their results back. So while my experience with customer support was quite good, I have to take that into consideration. I wouldn't really recommend the Oravet Health Screen as a gift. It's not really fun. Um, it's definitely geared more towards professionals, but I think that it's the most serious of these reports. And um, the fact that they abstain from giving any information that is more speculative and risky um, does speak to the seriousness of the brand. So for a certain person, I think this could be a good option. And then which of these DNA tests do I think is the best? So I think that for a fun DNA test, especially for a cat who has a really strong resemblance to a certain breed and really leaves you scratching their head as to whether they might be half ragdoll or half Maine Coon or something like that, I think the wisdom panel DNA test seems the most promising. They seem to have uh, the most information on cat breeds, and the test results are really nicely presented, and this overall comes at a reasonable cost, and the turnaround time is a little bit quicker than base paws. Um, base paws seems like it might have more promise. Um, it seems they're working a lot on feline genetics research. They've added on that dental health report, which is really helpful, um, and I think that as it grows, it could become something incredibly valuable. Um, so as a longer term investment in genetic understanding of your cat, and especially if you're interested in citizen science, um, the base pause DNA test and just base pause as a company uh, probably holds more promise. And then finally, if you just want really solid information on health markers, traits, and perhaps you're a veterinarian or a breeder, you're running a cattery, you want to know about your purebred kitten's uh, genetic health, um, then I would go for the Oravet Health Scan. So all of them have pros and cons, but I hope this video gave you some perspective on how all of these tests um, yield results for one single cat and uh, which one might be the best for you. So I'll put links in the description to all of these DNA tests if you want to try them out with your own cat. And uh, in the meantime, please let me know what you think about this. What do you think of DNA testing for cats? Have you ever done a DNA test? 
What is your take on Wesley's results? I would love to hear about it in the comments. So thank you so much and I will see you soon. Bye.